What's going on everybody? Kenny Bomb is in the building and we are well past the one year anniversary mark for AEW Fight Forever but as of right now we still don't know if we'll be getting another game and some people are saying AEW shouldn't make another game but these people just don't understand how important Fight Forever was for the wrestling game community and these people also don't understand how important AEW Fight Forever 2 will be for the future if we want these wrestling games to continue to improve. But it's time to put things into perspective, so we gotta talk about it. Run, run, boy, they coming out. So let's start off with a quick history lesson. WWE has always dominated when it comes to wrestling games. Sure, we had the WCW games and TNA popped in for a cup of coffee, but WWE is the only company that's given us games on every console. But back in the day, this was not a problem because they gave us options. They assigned one team to make games for the Xbox, they assigned another team to make games for Nintendo, and they assigned another team to make games for PlayStation. So even if you didn't like the games on one console, you could still get your wrestling fix because the games on the other consoles were completely different. Now don't get me wrong, just because these games were different, doesn't mean these games were good because WWE Raw on the Xbox was terrible. WWE Raw 2 on the Xbox was a bit better, but it was still pretty bad. And we're not going to talk about WrestleMania 21 because that game was a broken mess. The point is, if these were the only wrestling games we were getting around that time, then I don't even know if we'd be getting wrestling games today. But even though the Xbox games were bad, and I'm an Xbox guy myself, so I had to suffer back then, but it was okay because we had options i could go play my brother's playstation because those smackdown games never missed i could go play my other brother's gamecube day of reckoning those games are very slept on and to be honest they might even be better than some of those smackdown games but the fact that we can even have that debate shows why it's so important to have more than one wrestling game on the market and sure the competition was internal but because there was competition that made these studios go try to build the best wrestling games possible just to stand above all of the others. But after a while, WWE started licensing their games to one company, and SmackDown vs. Raw was everywhere. But it wasn't a bad thing, because the SmackDown vs. Raw games were really good. Y'all used to cook Corey Ledesma every year, but the SmackDown vs. Raw games were probably the most consistent, because they were never bad. Well, besides SmackDown vs. Raw 2008, but that was just a small bump in the road. But after 2008, those games got so good, I feel like we didn't even have a reason to want them to have any competition. Every year we were getting new features, we were getting new modes, we got creative finisher, the road to WrestleMania was good, and the graphics got better year after year. Until we got WWE All-Stars. I think WWE All-Stars was a big win for the people, but it was a big mistake on WWE's end because I personally have not enjoyed WWE games as much as I have before WWE All-Stars because that kind of created this monster inside of me that wants something different. After WWE All-Stars, we never got a different WWE game like that again. Unless you wanna talk about WWE Battlegrounds, but that game was complete, utter Donkey Kong booty cheeks. WWE 12, WWE 13, WWE 14. I know a lot of y'all love WWE 14, but that is the only WWE game I ever skipped out on because at that point, I got sick of them being the same. I came back for WWE 15 because that one was the first one on the next gen console. And I know a lot of people hate it because some of the features were missing, but I actually liked it. WWE 16, WWE 17, 18, 19, all of these games were the same until they finally crashed and burned with WWE 20. Now with WWE 20, we ran into a big issue. The game was broken. The game was a mess and it completely threw everything off of the rails. Now what happens? WWE goes away. Because they're the only show in town, you got no wrestling games for what, three years? We had to go without them. And they came back with WWE 2K22, which is WWE 2K23, which is WWE 2K24. Now we deal with these WWE games and they are the same every year. People have been asking for Create a Story to return for so long. 
And in a story-driven business, this would do so much for these games. And I don't want to hear the fact that you can't do it because somehow they're putting it in this new Dragon Ball Z game. If they can do it in a Dragon Ball Z game, why can't we do it in this wrestling game? It just does not make sense at all to me. I understand you only have a year for the development cycle. Start working on it now and put it in there in two or three years. If WWE 2K25 does not have creative story, give up. They don't care. They just don't care. It's just all about my faction now because that's the mode they can monetize. And I don't want to hear from the apologists saying, well, they can't do create a story because people are going to put curse words and nasty stuff in there, bro. You can go in community creations and find these wrestlers butt naked in there. And you don't got to look for them. They're on the front page. So we might as well go ahead and do an unedited version of create a story. But this ain't a rant video. All of that stuff is beside the point. But 2K24 did have some very specific updates. Updates we saw in a different game. And that brings us to AEW Fight Forever. Along this drought where we had no competition, nobody going up against WWE, we got this announcement that AEW was finally coming out with the wrestling game. And the wrestling game community got excited, but I feel like this is where a section of the wrestling game community kind of failed themselves because some people started tearing AEW Fight Forever down immediately, not understanding that AEW standing on this wrestling market would make 2K even better as it did because a lot of the updates we saw in WWE 2K24 came directly from AEW Fight Forever. Things like throwing weapons, blood spilling on the mat. We wanted that back in WWE games for a long time, but we could not get it until after AEW Fight Forever. Things like the ramp camera or even things that are more simple like real life referees. Back in the old 2K games, we had this generic guy who looked like Angelo Dawkins refing all the matches. Now, just by happenstance in WWE 2K24, we got real life refs just like we got in AEW Fight Forever. There's a lot more stuff they took as well. If you want to see, uh, check out Kiddo Valentine's video, Nine Things WWE 2K24 Took from AEW Fight Forever. Masterclass work. But understand this, I'm not mad that 2K took these features at all because they bring me so much more enjoyment when I'm playing 2K24. Like the ramp camera. I've used the ramp camera in every match. The only time I haven't used the ramp camera is when they don't let you use it in showcase mode. Like blood spilling on the mat. Now, I might be a pretty sick guy, but in every match the blood is turned on, so I'm not pinning my opponent until that blood is all over the ring. But this brings me to my final question. Was AEW Fight Forever really a bad game? My answer to that question is absolutely not. Because whether you like it or not, AEW Fight Forever served its purpose. It came in and brought competition to 2K, which made 2K24 better than it would have been without it. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is why we need to see AEW Fight Forever 2 happen, because that's the only way this wrestling game universe is going to evolve. And plus, the game's a 64 on Metacritic, so it's not as terrible as you guys make it out to be anyway. It's above mid, and it's their first game, so it's fine. But let me know what you guys think about it in the comment section. Would y'all like to see AEW Fight Forever 2, or are y'all okay with the same mediocre WWE 2K games? Let me know, but thank y'all for watching. Bomb Squad, let's get to that.